Hi, my name is Chris Maxwell. I'm a corporate associate here at Morse Man and Martin in our corporate technology practice group. Here today to talk about the SAFE investment vehicle or the Simple Agreement for Future Equity, which is an alternative to convertible debt that has uh, come out of the Y Combinator uh, Accelerator in California, which uh, many of our clients and entrepreneurs here in Atlanta are wanting to learn more about due to its uh, simplicity and the ease of implementation with a little less cost than a traditional equity financing at a very early stage in a company's growth or a, a convertible debt instrument that has some drawbacks. So I'm going to talk about the SAFE, some of the advantages and disadvantages of the SAFE and uh, how it's more advantageous for the investor in certain circumstances and the entrepreneur in other circumstances. SAFE is a, a simple agreement for future equity which is a alternative investment vehicle that certain investors uh, in Silicon Valley have been using to invest in early stage startups that are have some similarities to a traditional convertible note financing but are, are a lot simpler and the forms are, are all drafted and posted on the Y Combinator website. Well, first of all, the SAFE is not a debt instrument, so there's no maturity date, there's no interest rate, and generally it doesn't have some of the same regulations that a convertible debt with, considering that a convertible debt is deemed a security for purposes of securities laws. You don't have the same issues with insolvency and some of the other negatives that come for the, um, the company or the entrepreneur with regards to convertible debt. Well, the main advantage is just the, the time and effort with negotiating a convertible debt document versus safe document. Uh, the safe documents are, are standard documents that are, are meant to be very simple and, and not heavily negotiated. So the cost of implementing the safe is going to be cheaper than doing a traditional convertible debt financing. As far as the instrument itself, uh, the safe doesn't have an interest rate, which is beneficial to the entrepreneur. It doesn't have a maturity date, which is, is a little bit different. And it also doesn't have the same security securities laws that come with a convertible debt instrument um, when issued and you have to comply with the um, securities laws. The disadvantage for entrepreneurs in, in a safe is while the safe upfront can be definitely more simple, easier to implement, and cheaper than a traditional convertible debt financing. There are some drawbacks with respect to the, the caps and discounts that are associated with a safe. So in essence, you may be kicking the can down the road, which may complicate your financing to the extent you implement a cap on your safe meaning a valuation cap, whereas if the valuation for the investor goes over a certain amount, say it's five million, and the pre-money valuation in the next round is greater than that cap, then the, the safe will need to convert into a different series of preferred stock, which could complicate the, uh, the company's cap table and could uh, make the second round of financing a little bit more complicated and a little bit more expensive. The advantages for the investors are pretty similar to the ones for the company in that the safe is quick, it's fast, it's cheap, it's easy to implement, and they're going to spend a lot less money negotiating their standard documents. Uh, there are standard documents on the Y Combinator side that deal with different variations of the safe, including caps, discounts, cap versus a discount or, or both. So uh, the documents are easy for investors to understand, easy for them to implement, and allows them to get their investment in the company um, easily and quickly. The disadvantages for investors are quite the opposite of the advantages for the entrepreneur in that you're not going to get an interest rate return on your investment, so there's no interest rate. You don't have the certainty of a maturity date, uh, the safe stay outstanding until there's either a sale or a financing of the company or the company dissolves. So, uh, your investment in the company could last longer than you would expect. And you also don't have the security that sometimes comes with a convertible uh, debt financing, which you sometimes see convertible debt uh, secured by the assets of the company. So the safe is not secured by the assets, so you have a little less uh, certainty as far as securing your investment in the company. 
So that was a very high level um, introduction to the safe versus convertible debt and, and how the safe works. You can go on the Y Combinator website and look at safe documents. They have form documents for e each uh, different type of safe, you know, whether you're going to have a cap or a discount. One thing to, to note when negotiating with investors is that sometimes investors are going to be comfortable with convertible debt because convertible debt has been around and been a preferred way of investing in companies for a while. So this is a new instrument that will take some time to get in used to, but uh, it may be something that may be advantageous to you or your company when, when looking to raise money on the cheap in, in a very fast and simple way. Um, so if you have any further questions, uh, the, the website at Y Combinator has a very good primer that goes through the description of, of different types of safes and different scenarios. So I would check that out and also consult your attorney who will be able to guide you in, in the intricacies of the safe and when it would be appropriate to use it in lieu of convertible debt. Once again, I'm Chris Maxwell, a corporate associate at Morris Mayday Martin. Have a great day.